Apparently there's a camera around, Clive Mason likes it. I love it, I absolutely love it. Welcome to the Minimax. Well hi everyone and welcome to the channel. As you can probably tell, I'm almost back at my second home at the moment, back at Sywell uh, at Flylight, um, because there is something new. Now when I got my nine aircraft, this hadn't been made. So let's go and have a look at what's uh, new on the nine aircraft. So this is Ben's. Um, I say my uh, my trike's back up at Darley Moor at the moment, so I brought my nose cone down for them to add this. So as you'll probably be able to see on the screen right now, um, and the aircraft behind me, there is um, a new instrument binnacle, and I've actually got some engine instruments for this. Um, I'll leave a, a bit of a, a plug on the screen. So thanks Ed for that. Um, because I still like to have that instrumentation of what's happening with the, the engine, etc. So it's got EGT, CHT, fuel level, um, can have fuel flow, a whole raft of things. So I'm not going to try and uh, um, go into too much detail on that. But the main thing, as you'll see on the screen now, is that the instrument panel can take instrumentations. It's got the switches, it's got the starter button, um, anything you want to Velcro on there, etc. And uh, it just looks really, really nice. I'm trying not to look at it and talk, talk to the camera at the same time, but actually it's, <laughs> it does look really, really nice um, and makes a huge difference to the, to the aesthetics. But the main point is, and I haven't got my full camera set up with me today, I'm borrowing Ben's flight kit at the moment, um, is I'm going to go and take it for a flight and see what my thoughts are. So um, I'll try and put some uh, in-camera in footage on some, some normal footage without audio. Um, but let's, uh, let's go and fly the aircraft and see how it looks and I'll chat and give you my thoughts at the end of the flight. A very short video in total anyway but the flight was more about understanding the binnacle and as you can see behind me the uh, the binnacles there um, there is loads of space for instruments now as I said I've already got my engine instrumentation which will go pretty much where the motor monitor is at the moment so welcome briefly to the flight briefing room because there's been a few updates since I made this video and I just wanted to point them out before we went any further with the outro I have got two binnacles. I've got one which I fitted to the Flylight 9 and I'm going to show you that on the screen now. So I've got an avionics switch which isolated it from the main battery. The FlyHenry Flymeter is a very clever system. It's got a module at the front uh, which just takes the data feeds from a module at the back. So uh, I suppose the module is a head unit um, and the main unit sits at the back. So there's, there's a, a data link between the two, which is quite nice and neat, which means all your sensor wires and everything you want to fit to it are all done right near the engine. Uh, I've got an EG, uh, a cylinder head temperature, 
a, an exhaust gas temperature, which is very key for a Polini to understand what's going on with the exhaust temperatures, and then also a water temperature because it's also water cooled. The uh, module does RPM, there is oil pressure or temperature if you want it, fuel flow if you want it as well. It does also use a capacitance stick for the fuel gauge so it's constantly live reading and you can probably see during this video it's going through a, um, a calibration cycle because you can set um, parameters for that. But it's a very clever instrument as you probably also worked out, it's also quite bright which means you can see it in all daylights. And uh, again I will talk more about the Tiggy 2 which again I'll be fitting to my, uh, my PB and I'll run through that system later on but this is more about the binnacle at the moment. I really like the binnacle, so it's really nice and crisp and clean and, and can be modular. You can take the front strut off with it in situ, so you haven't got to disassemble too much. Um, but other than that, I'm really pleased with it, so back to Cywell. And I'll have other bits and pieces, but I say, it's got so much space that you can put anything you want on there. Your stopwatch, your timers, all the other bits. Space for checklists if you really want to have your checklists on there. Um, so I think in terms of the concept, it's, uh, it, it's good. I can lean forward, I can get to the switch, uh, the starter, etc. Is it going to make a difference to my flying? Yes, it really is, because it means I've got somewhere to put stuff. Um, those that have flown the Adam will know that it's really complicated to have anything down the keel because that's where the, con the ridge rack cables go. Um, on the PB, this can also be fitted to any of the flylight machines that have got this screen as well. And that for me is, is going to make a difference because I might even try and get one for my PB as well. Um, but overall, I really like the way it's been designed, I really like the way that it, it just sits there and it's a nice upright um, positioning so you can see all the instrumentation, your GPS or your phone if you want to clip your phone to it etc. So pretty much this wraps up the video, so I hope it's been useful, a very short video but an, another development along the, the range of aircraft um, that this can be fitted to and so I don't think it will just stop at this aircraft or other manufacturers but the fact is it, it does and is designed around this the, uh, the Flylight range um, and I'm really looking forward to getting it onto mine so that's the main reason come down here today is to drop my nose cone off um, so they can then uh, fit the, uh, the the binnacle to it but other than that I say we'll wrap, we'll, if you've got any questions about any of the things um, in, in today's videos or other elements of the nine please drop them in the comments uh, and I will uh, I will get back to you but until next time everybody fly safe